Yeah. Mm, hello, my name is Norbert Kaminski, and today I will tell you how to create a partition image with the Bits custom plugin. Um, I will also tell you some tips and tricks based on the boot image uh, grab trench build uh, plugin development. So uh, let's start with the agenda. Uh, at the beginning of my presentation, I will tell you a few words about myself. Uh, then I will go to Open Embedded Image Creator. Um, and I will tell you how to prepare uh, the layer to build uh, the custom, uh, custom partitioned uh, image. And uh, I, will sell you, uh, I will tell you how to create a weak Kickstarter file. Um, so, in the second uh, part of my presentation, I will tell you uh, how to uh, create uh, a weak custom plugin. I will, uh, um, I will present you some overall information about uh, whole interface, and uh, I will uh, speak about uh, plugin source methods. Uh, plugin source is the class um, that contains the methods of uh, weak plugin. Uh, at the end of my presentation, I will show you my story uh, of development, uh, boot image grab trench boot. Um, that's a custom week plugin. So, uh, at the beginning, uh, let's answer the question, who am I? My name is Norbert Kaminski, and I'm working at FreeMDev uh, System Consulting as Embedded System Engineer. Uh, I'm um, uh, contributing uh, to open source projects such like uh, Meta PC Engine Layer, Meta Trench Boot Layer, and uh, my last uh, project, open source project, was connected with uh, Cube's uh, operating system. Um, I was uh, developing the uh, wrapper for uh, firmware update system. So in my scope of interest uh, are bootloaders. I'm also interested in embedded Linux uh, and um, a huge enthusiast of virtualization and containerization. Um, in the first uh, part of my presentation, I will tell you uh, some information about the Open Embedded Image Creator, WIC. Um, so what is WIC? WIC uh, stands for Open Embedded Image Creator. Uh, but uh, you may ask why it's uh, W in this acronym. Uh, so documentation says that uh, OE would be too hard to remember and too hard to pronounce. Uh, so let's stay with WIC. Uh, it's used to create a partition image. Mm, it's loosely based on uh, Miko Image Creator Framework, but the main difference between WIC and uh, MIC is that uh, WIC is building the partition image uh, from the artifacts that was built before. Uh, it's not uh, installing the packages and uh, custom configurations. So, how to prepare your layer uh, to create uh, the custom partition image? Um, at first, you have to go to your layer and you have to add to the local configuration file uh, the WIC, um, just weak interface uh, variable. So as you can see here, um, we have image FS type variable uh, that should be in local conf file and uh, we are adding a WIC um, uh, to it. Uh, so, Mm, the next thing uh, which, we which we have to decide is uh, if we want to use the existing uh, Kickstarter uh, configuration file, uh, which contains uh, ready to use prepared uh, partition layouts for uh, uh, devices or for the platforms, or if we want to create our own uh, partition layout. So if you want to uh, choose a ready to use partition layout, uh, it's good to know uh, what, what we have um, to choose for. 
so at, at the start, we have to source the um, script in uh, Pocky repository, and then we can list the um, images names, uh, the partition layouts names uh, with uh, this command. Uh, as you can see, um, we have plenty of uh, uh, configuration uh, files, Kickstarter configuration files, uh, which we can choose from. Um, so if we found the right uh, partition layout, we have to add the uh, weak starter file to be our local conf configuration. But uh, if we want to create our own weak Kickstarter file, um, we have to, again, go to our uh, layer, then uh, we are creating the weak directory and uh, we are creating the weak Kickstarter uh, configuration. Uh, so we are creating the short and log uh, description for our partition layout. Uh, and we are specifying the uh, custom partition layout. So let's start from the beginning. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have part command, uh, which creates partition and takes the put, um, takes the mount point as um, input parameter. Uh, and uh, the first partition is boot partition. So we are creating the partition that will be mount at boot. The second parameter uh, is the source. Uh, that uh, specifies the particular uh, weak plugin that will be used to create the partition. Um, next parameter will be on the disk. Uh, that parameter force creating the partition on a particular disk. And we have uh, FS, type, um, FS type parameter. Uh, which sets the file system for our partition. Uh, okay, uh, next will be label um, that name our uh, file system. Uh, and it could be used to uh, boot proper partition. Mm, it may be used as the uh, parameter in bootloader, uh, like in grab configuration, you may has the root fs uh, a1 and it should be booted uh, as you can see as root fs uh, okay uh, so the next parameter will be active mm, it sets the partition as bootable um, and uh, the align uh, specify the maximum size of boundaries between the partitions fixed size uh, sets exact size of the partition in megabytes. <clears throat> okay, the last thing uh, you have to done uh, in your um, weak Kickstarter file uh, is uh, specifying the bootloader option. Uh, you are specifying the uh, partition table type, you are specifying the timeout uh, of the option, and you may uh, append the um, command line in, uh, in your bootloader. Um, so uh, once you have created the uh, your um, weak, uh, Kickstarter file, your partition uh, configuration, uh, you can list again the uh, available Kickstarter files and you will see uh, your partition layout with your short description. Uh, so uh, here we have some development tips. Um, first development tips will, uh, will be about debugging the partition layout. Uh, you don't uh, need to flush the device to check uh, if the partition layout is correct. Uh, you can use for this purpose low setup uh, command and when you uh, just mount a create loop uh, device, um, it prints the device that has been uh, created. So if you list um, partition layout from this loop uh, device, you will see if everything is correct. 
and you may mount the particular partition uh, and see if the files that you have populated to this partition uh, are that one you want to. Um, okay. Uh, second development tip uh, is about speeding up the flash process. So, um, so you don't have to use um, the DD command. It's a pretty slow command. And if you want to speed up the flash process, uh, you mm, may want to use the BMOP tool. Uh, so at first, you have to, again, add to image FS type uh, var variable in local uh, conf file, the uh, BMOP, uh, weak BMOP and uh, compressed uh, weak uh, file. So um, as, you, uh, as you can see, uh, we will have the BMOP file that describes the compressed image. And um, you need to use the um, root uh, privileges here and uh, you may want to copy the uh, your image uh, to your device so um, using bmap tool speed up the uh, flashing process by five to seven times okay uh, so the second part will be about the uh, weak plugin interface um, what is weak plugin interface? Uh, it provides the mechanism to customize the image uh, generation process. Uh, as you may remember from the previous uh, part of my presentation, there was a source parameter in a weak Kickstarter file. Uh, so mm, that, uh, that parameter specify the weak uh, plugin that creates the particular uh, partition. So <clears throat> the source plugin are subclasses uh, based on the uh, source plugin class, uh, which is defined in the Pocky repository uh, in following uh, script, Python script. Uh, okay, so weak plugin um, could be defined in your uh, meta layer. Um, again, you have to go to your meta layer and create a uh, following uh, directory. And then you have to create Python script, uh, which will have the uh, name variable that will be the same as the source. Uh, source parameter that you pass in your weak, uh, weak Kickstarter file. Um, documentation says that um, the Python name, uh, name of the Python script should be the same as the uh, uh, name of the variable. So um, that's, um, you may uh, want to name your uh, Python script in a uh, different name, and that's OK. Uh, and it will work. Mm, but it's preferred to uh, not do that. Just stay with the name uh, that you have uh, defined here. Uh, OK, now uh, we are coming to the plugin source class uh, and its method. Uh, so uh, every uh, weak plugin um, that you are writing will have a few standard methods. Uh, the first method uh, you will use uh, is to configure partition. And that method creates the custom configuration files uh, for a partition. It may uh, take the custom configuration files from the build and populate it to the partition. Uh, the, second, uh, the second method is stage preparation. Uh, that method allows to stage the partition files in the uh, customized way. Uh, and typically, it's empty. Um, I do not use this uh, method in my uh, weak plugin. 
Uh, so next method is uh, do prepare partition um, method uh, does the content population so it prepares the files uh, to be incorporated into the final image um, and we have uh, do install disk uh, methods which finalize the disk image creation uh, it could write the master boot record for example, the boot image uh, from uh, Grub bootloader. Um, so <clears throat> next uh, will be do post partition. Uh, that method allows to execute the post operation uh, after the partition is created. Uh, it could be used to the uh, security purposes like uh, signing the partition. And that's the third uh, part of my presentation. Um, it will be about the um, development of a uh, weak plugin. Uh, so one day I came to my office and my team leader uh, asked me to create a partition, boot partition for the trench boot. Uh, at start, you may ask, what is the trench boot? It's a framework uh, that allows the individuals and uh, projects to build uh, security engines uh, to perform large integrity actions for various systems. Uh, that sounds uh, a little intricate, so you may want to use our uh, layer meta trench boot, uh, which creates the ready to use uh, builds that uh, provide dynamic uh, roots, uh, root of trust measurement uh, for UFI and uh, PC BIOS platforms. Um, and uh, we have a third bullet, uh, my plugin, that's a boot image uh, grab trench boot plugin. Uh, it creates the custom boot partition for the trench boot proposals. <clears throat> okay. Here we have the group boot uh, process on the PC BIOS platform. Uh, the parti boot partition of the uh, trench boot is based on the grub. Uh, and I will, uh, I will describe you the boot process of uh, four PC BIOS platforms. Uh, at the start, we have uh, BIOS, uh, which selects a hard drive and uh, reads uh, and loads the boot image. Uh, the boot image is written to master boot record. Uh, so it's uh, the first sector of the partition. Uh, it contains the logical block addressing uh, of the first sector of core image. Uh, so, uh, its ta uh, it task is to load the core image and transfer the um, control to the core image. Uh, core image contains uh, the loader addresses of the blocks uh, that allows loading the uh, core image to the memory. Once it's, once it's done, um, grab kernel and takes over initialization. So uh, if we are in a, uh, that point and something goes wrong, uh, now uh, grab will throw the um, will throw the rescue shell and show us some uh, debug information. So from this point, uh, we are pretty aware what is happening with our grab. Uh, <clears throat> so the next uh, the next step uh, which grab is taking is loading normal uh, module so uh, normal module um, should be uh, installed in the uh, module directory in the boot uh, on the boot partition uh, and when it's loaded uh, it runs the normal uh, command that display the grab menu uh, with the grab configuration file. Okay, 
Um, now we have uh, here architecture of uh, we plugin uh, that I have uh, developed. Uh, it contains uh, three methods of the class I've mentioned uh, in earlier area of my presentation. Uh, so, um, first method uh, will be the configure partition. Uh, that method contains the uh, copying uh, custom uh, grab configuration file if it exists. If not, it checks uh, the deploy uh, directory um, and it, uh, it's checking the files that, uh, that are consist in this di directory and then it creates uh, the grub configuration. So if we have a hypervisor there, uh, it will be, uh, it will create the multi-boot uh, multi command line. Uh, if we do not have uh, the um, Zen hypervisor, it will be just the standard uh, command line of the group. Uh, okay, so next uh, is copying the custom uh, grub environment file uh, that contains the uh, environment variables uh, that may be used uh, to uh, provide the update for uh, for our platform. So, next uh, method is to prepare partition. Uh, it populates the boot partition with kernel files uh, with uh, custom grab modules. Uh, custom because uh, we are uh, copying the standard grab modules, but uh, there are also uh, modules which uh, enable the secure launch in uh, in Grub. So it, it is checking if uh, Zen hypervisor exists and uh, if if it um, if it exists, uh, it uh, copies the Zen to the put partition. Uh, and at the end, it install uh, the uh, Grub core image. Um, last method in this uh, weak plugin is to install disk. Uh, it installs the standard master boot record. Uh, and uh, next, it um, installs the boot image uh, to be uh, to master boot record. Uh, there was some challenges uh, during the development uh, stage because uh, when we are trying to install the boot image to master boot record, uh, uh, it's not so easy when you are doing this uh, into file. Uh, when you have a physical device, it's easy to recognize what is the uh, root partition and uh, that's uh, pretty easy, but uh, when you are installing uh, the image to the file, um, you have to uh, work around this with uh, additional parameter uh, because uh, the standard grub, uh, grub bias setup is not, uh, cannot guess uh, the root partition. So we work around this problem uh, with uh, R parameter uh, that specify the root partition. As you may see at the snippet, uh, it's here. Um, full uh, source code of this patch is uh, available at the following link. Okay, and uh, some development tips for uh, weak uh, plugin. Um, when you are creating your um, weak plugin, you want to, um, usually you want to uh, use some custom or standard variables from the bitbag. And uh, there are two ways to pass variables to the uh, weak, uh, weak plugin. 
Um, the first way is to obtain a bitwig variable uh, by using the uh, get bitwig var. As you can see here, uh, I'm just taking the bitwig variable and uh, I'm uh, writing it to a Python variable. Uh, the second way of the uh, passing variables uh, to uh, the plugin is to use the source params. Uh, that's the parameter of a weak uh, Kickstarter file. Um, it's, um, it takes uh, the name of the parameter and uh, its value. So if you want to obtain this parameter uh, in a weak plugin, you just use the source get params. As you can see here, uh, we are obtaining uh, the uh, init rd. Init rd, okay. So um, during the plugin development, uh, you may need to use the parameters of uh, source plugin methods because uh, it's easier to populate the partition with these parameters. Uh, so CR work there um, uh, is the work directory of WIC and it contains the creator artifacts before they are uh, deployed to deploy directory. Um, the HDD uh, dir directory is um, used to populate a partition. So uh, the files are copied there before they are uh, installed into final uh, partition image. And the last, um, last, um, the last parameter of source uh, plugin method is kernel uh, directory. Uh, it's typically equal to uh, deploy directory of uh, your build image. Mm. And it could be used to custom the uh, kernel that you want to install to your partition. So thank you for your time and your consideration. 